what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm kiva of come get this commentary and come get this commentary too if you was up with me late last night y'all know my butt needed to be in the bed but you know i had to address somebody calling me cam save a hoe <laughs> so if you was up you've already seen um these lives i simply just combined them into one video if you want to rewatch them that's cool um if you haven't seen them we're well, here you go so let's get to it A lot of nigga bitch may stand they feelings Saving these hoes, this shit here pitiful All these little bit of bitches my chillings Ooh. And mama, don't worry, you raised a gangster I'm a survivor, it hurt me Not being able to give what you want Since I was a toddler Shout out to my pops for all the free game Everything you ever told me, it stuck in my brain Real OG status and like to make a change Shed the tears rain, this is so much pain All the shit, the shit that I've done Blessing not being no change Uncle killed me when I was young Mom blessed the boy with the cocaine Growing up, I ain't have no daddy. My mama played both roles. Been hard on a nigga since I came out the womb. Yeah, the pussy hole. I was taught to trust none. Face your problem, never run. Little bitch, holler, she pregnant. You a little net net, that ain't my son. Trying to trap me, know I had a glove. Fuck them feelings, slack. I'm a thug. You a little dusty hoe, yeah, the rug. Ayy, and it's still fuck love. 2 a.m., the night's still young. You live by the gun, you gon' die by the gun. Ain't no handouts for nobody. When they ain't had shit, they ain't offer me nothing. When I'm quiet, I be thinking about killings. A lot of nigga bitch may stay in they feelings. Saving these hoes, this shit here pitiful. All these little bit of bitches, my chillings. Ooh. And mama, don't worry, you raised a gangster. I'm a survivor. It hurt me not being able to give what you want since I was a toddler. Shout out to my pops for all the free game. Everything you ever told me, it stuck in my brain. Real OG status and like to make a change. Shit. Tears rain, this is so much pain. So, I'm not gonna be all night, but I want to set a couple of things straight. Cause see, I I don't really unless you let me take this down because I was listening to my music because I'm on my way to bed. Um, a couple of things I, I try not to do. Okay, is and I can be messy. Okay, it's messy in banter, it's messy in fun. But if you come for me and I feel I want to respond, then the messy can elevate, right? I don't throw, throw a rock and hide my hands. Anybody I've ever cussed the fuck out or told to suck my dick, it's on my channel, unless they was. A fuck girl or boy and flagged it down other than that anybody that I've ever had words for it's on my channel okay I don't play you know putting shit on private or whatever okay it said if they said I said it nine out of ten times I said it with that being said the content creator who mentioned me in her video messy okay Medea whatever the fuck her name is she said I was Captain Save a Ho I was Captain Save a Ho because a week or two ago okay because we're gonna get some clarifications we're gonna get some clarification she was in Danny's chat if you don't know who Danny is or you're just not gonna know and she was, oh, thank you for the shout out or whatever, praising Danny, okay? And she appeared to have enjoyed Danny's content. Moving forward, in the middle of Danny's live stream, she goes live. And she starts talking about, oh my God, the money, the money. Danny Robinson is over there yelling, give me cash apps, give me cash apps. She totally lied. Now, as with any content creator, if you look in her comments, you'll see people taking up for her, okay, or correcting her. And I don't want to sound like correcting her like, bitch, you being checked. 
But nope, you misunderstood this, that, and the third. So when I saw, I said, well, her video was still up. She said her debit card did this. It got charged again. She's going to need a new card. I said, Danny never said, give me cash apps. If you guys follow Danny, not once have you ever heard that woman say, support me with cash apps. She'll thank you for the cash app. She'll thank you for the super chats, right? Because I think that's the courteous thing to do. People don't have to take their time to want to give you any donation. No one's forcing anyone. When people join my membership and pay for a membership by the month, whether they take the 99 cent one or the 7.99 one, I'm always thankful and appreciative that they've said, you know what? I'm going to put you on my Netflix bill and pay every month to support you. You're a good, good enough content creator that I feel I want to support. And if you don't have money to join the membership, you watch it. You hit the like. You comment. You engage. Saying all that to say, I did go on her comments. And I was very detailed because I wanted her to know the video was still up. Go back and look so you don't think I'm just over here nitpicking. Because like... Her subscribers will correct people and take up for her. And since I had started watching her content, I said, well, you know, let me just, you know, because it's no need to start lies, right? The one thing I don't like is to start a lie, unless I don't like you. If I really got beef with you, bitch, fuck you. It's up and it's stuck and it's whatever's being said about you. Go straight to hell. But unnecessary lies with people you don't got beef with, making shit up i don't get behind that so i thought after she saw the comment if you were on that live stream that i did talking about it she came into my chat some of you may not remember she came into my chat and said i apologize i, I misunderstood right she actually deleted the video because she did lie misunderstood so that was that boom then it turned into slick shading. And I've been hearing her say little slick shit in reference to me, but I didn't say anything. Her friend came in my chat and wrote a, I'm paraphrasing, a dissertation, a very detailed, comprehensive letter, okay? And I'm like, hmm, if you didn't like what I said, all you had to do was delete the comment and ignore it. Or come in my chat and say, I don't give a fuck. I, I, I like seeing she begging for super chats, right? You didn't have to come into my chat and offer an apology. Because I even said, you know what? That's the good thing to do. If content creators can squash stuff, that would be a good thing to do. The content creator name is Messy Medea, Messy something, some shit like that. However, it got me to thinking. Her content is now it's reaction i do reactions so let me let me be careful how i word it her content is reactions but someone hopped in her comments and said you beef sector i've heard you on beef sector panels that didn't really click with me because i love the beef sector i ain't gonna lie i be in their bushes 24 7 but i've never heard her on the panel and i'm not everywhere in the beef section but that person was like i you was on the panel she has a very distinctive voice and you would think if she was beef sector that voice would be easy to spot right she denied it of course then danny comes and does um her research on her very public social medias that actually have her captioning captioning okay photos stating congrats on my subscriber count from all those years ago for a youtube channel okay the links to those youtube channels said it was terminated not um excuse me it they weren't i decided to delete it it said youtube terminated that's neither here nor there if you want to stick to the lie that you never had a channel that's fine however when the person commented you was in beef sector then it started to click as to how you're trying to grow your channel obviously 
The name is Messy. So you a messy motherfucker. Got it. Check. But being messy does not mean to make it up as you go. To deliberately start fake beef. Because me and you, we don't have beef. We can. But we don't have beef. Okay. Saying that I was Captain save a for that comment that you came and apologized for, um, that doesn't that do, that doesn't correlate. If you felt I was Captain save a then bitch, why did you come in my chat and fucking apologize? I think a lot of subscribers. I'm a subscriber. A lot of subscribers and content creators. If we see something that's being said, that's being said incorrectly or misinformation, I think it's courteous for someone to say, oh, that such and such, this is how this happened. You might want to just do some research. Here's the link. That is nothing wrong. That's not being Captain save a -ho. That's clearing up misinformation that would have caused a whole, oh, it's, 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 they're begging for cash apps. Now, are there people that beg for cash apps? Yes. You gotta, you gotta pay me. And that's, hey, run your channel how you run your channel. But when you pocket watch, oh my God, more Jaguar content. More Jaguar content. You're pocket watching. And it's oozing, I'm jealous. And I cannot wait until I reach my 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Now, more than likely, you're at your... 4,000 watch hours. You just need to hit 1K. And you'll be back on, on your way. But you already know about YouTube because of the way you do your description box. See, as a YouTuber with two channels, you know, we examine stuff. I said, oh, her description box is not set up like a newbie. A newbie wouldn't know how to set their description box up like that. That's just my thoughts. But being a liar to come up the YouTube ladder and creating beef where there isn't any, slick shading people, that can go left real fast, okay? Um, I don't put your name in my mouth, okay? I don't say shit about you. Yes, I left that comment. But make sure when you talk to your audience about Captain Save a Ho, be like, I Captain sucked the dick and hopped over in her chat and apologized profusely in front of everybody. Okay? Make sure you give the whole story. Don't don't act like I was over there dick riding. Cause your subscribers, if they if, if I'm dick riding, then your subscribers in your comments dick riding too. We all around here sucking dick. Okay? But you hopped in my chat with my balls and your jaws for an apology that didn't need to come to me. And I did not tell you, you better apologize to Danny. Because I heard you say that in another video, I let that slide too. You talk really fast and you be so hyped to get your reaction out and you want to say stuff to be messy. And so... I don't fuck with you, you don't fuck with me, and we're going to let that be, okay? It's no need to put my name in your mouth, okay? I don't I don't put your name in my mouth, not on my channel. Now, what I see in the chat is my business. If you getting roasted in the chat, it's banter, it is what it is. You from B-Sector, you, you know what banter and roasting is, okay? But definitely... With the captain save a whole comment, I said, well, you calling for me. So you wanted to have a conversation. Okay. But just remember, that captain save a whole comment had you come suck my dick. Okay. Balls to the walls, apologizing. That no one asked you to do. Since you took it there. Okay. Yep, yeah, I had to come back. Because <laughs> I had forgot some things. I'm going to bed after this. Another thing, when, let me take my music down, I like this song, um, another thing, 
because I, I I I was I was I'm so irritated, but I, I'm not like ready to fight a bitch. But nitpicking and deliberately trying to to, to kick up dirt that if that that's my pet peeve. But maybe because I'm old, you know what I'm saying? Fifty years old. <laughs> it's like how fucking old are we? And people that lie, compulsive liars. Okay, that's what's that's that's like. Mmm, the compulsive liar, the playing victim, okay? You got called out that you had a whole channel, okay? When somebody comes for you, you're going to get roasted. Your toe, it got roasted. That was petty and banter, right? But because you got roasted, because you got exposed for not being a new YouTuber, because somebody actually jumped in your comments and said, well, I don't care that you're not a new YouTuber. I still support you, and that's a good attitude to have, right? But when you get exposed, instead of being honest and saying, yep, I had a channel. Some shit happened. I got rid of it. This is a new channel. This is my first start. No. You stick to the lie, and then you bring up that you were sick. I was in the hospital, IV, blah, 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 to deflect, okay? You being sick and having um, diseases, uh, what, uh, what did you say? Something with the intestines. It don't matter to me. But they had nothing to do with the subject at hand, okay? You put anything on a public, when I, let me tell you, when I got roasted, somebody went and got one of my pictures and roasted me. What, it was on a public platform. What can I do? If you don't want your shit to be roasted at any point, don't matter what it is, keep it off social media. But lying and trying to kick up a narrative just for clicks and views, no. When when I do commentary, I stick to the commentary. Whatever, I, whatever is presented, and then I give an opinion and I state, here's my theory. This is what I think and this is what I think. I don't put anything out as factual. You know what I'm saying? But I watched you lie on your platform, continuously lie, and then you want to come off as this poor victim being bullied. Nope, you're not being bullied. You got called out. Now, if another content creator is out there legit bullying you, then that's then you being bullied by them. Okay. But Danny Robinson, she's not bullying you. She just called you out on your fuck shit. And you don't like it. You're not going to sit up and try to gaslight your audience with a whole caption on your social media that fucking said your name, your picture, your caption that you're happy about your subscribers from 2,100 years ago. I never had a YouTube channel. That's psychotic. That's demonic, okay? You can't be trusted in these social media streets. That's just my opinion, okay? That's just my opinion, okay? It's no way you're going to show me a screenshot of you with a channel. You're not going to show me somebody clicking the link to your YouTube channel, and it says YouTube terminated it. And then you come up holding on to the last. I didn't have a channel. Oh my god. I was. Oh, oh my god. Now, mind you, I've been doxxed before. I, I could. Baby, I wouldn't give a fuck. It, it is what it is. Go down my. It's on my channel. We talked about it. Okay? We talked about it. So, I wouldn't give a fuck. What? Nobody come to your channel? Oh, come get this commentary. She blah, blah, blah. Bitch, you better read the YouTube resume. Go down my shit and see what was said. So that way you don't come on your channel and make up a lie. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's it's like the most trifling shit. And I, I, I was sitting up there like, hold up. That victim shit that, oh, they're bullying them. Oh, my God. No, if you here's my thought. If you jump on the internet, Crohn's disease, I think she got Crohn's, irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's, it doesn't matter to me. If you hop your ass on the internet, be prepared to handle what's coming. Just like 
I, I have to stand in my shit. Okay? That was it. I just needed to make sure I bought up that you was playing victim. Because you did say my name. Okay? Right. And that's that's the part. You going to hold on to that lie. And I know when I tell a lie, it make my stomach hurt. So you would think she wouldn't want to be around here lying. Okay. Um, you got to hold on to the lie because one, you're jealous. She's very jealous of Danny Robinson and it shows. Because she rushed straight over to her channel on her first video. Oh my God, look at the money. Oh my God, oh my God, all the videos, all the videos. And people cracking me up with Jaguar's name in the title, and they got Jaguar's name. She is the fucking content. The Jaguar saga drama, she is the content. And nobody gonna tell me when, how, and what I can talk about. Nobody gonna tell me whatever money I made or whatever money I didn't make. She is the content. But lying, playing victim, um, that's that's the that's the foot you don't want to be on. But you on that you've already opened up that gate, okay? And you're gonna have your diehard subs that'll look right at the receipt. Yep, she was a YouTuber, and more than likely B sector. But that's okay. She says she wasn't a YouTuber. We're gonna twist the narrative and say, well, this is a new channel, so you're a new YouTuber. Whatever, whatever, whatever works. Whatever works. But all that, you being bullied, Danny Robinson definitely is not bullying you. She just pulled she just pulled your whole car, and you didn't like it, okay? And calling me a Captain Saber ho because I gave you correct information, you were just being slick, and you were just being petty, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to make sure that you understood and told your audience correctly. You bought your dick suckers over to my chat and use them to apologize. Okay? So, now I'm going to go to bed and be done. And I don't I do not do back and forth. You can make 101 videos on me. I could lose subscribers. I, it is what it is. I said what I said. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm not going to make another video on you. Um, you can, if you, you want to go into some old beefs that I had, baby, do what you do. But not going to do back and forth, okay? But get the story right, okay? I went into your chat like any other subscriber that's been in your chat, giving you some information, okay? So that you could not put out wrong information. Danny Robinson never had begged for Super Chats. She never was saying, hurry up, send me money because of my cash card, Okay? Make sure your audience know that you apologized for getting it wrong and you deleted the video. You deleted that video. That's another thing we talking about. Let me let me go. But this is irking me because I'm a content creator. When somebody flags down a video of yours, delete your video, you get a notification from YouTube. But you know that because you're a previous YouTuber. When you say such and such flag me, it's nothing but a second to put up an email that showed that Danny Robinson flagged you. Danny says she ain't flagged you. I don't believe she flagged you. But you put it out there. She's snatching down my videos. That show your audience that she's snatching down your videos. Because what's going to happen is, if she happens to really do it, because people can strike people all the time, right? Then you're going to be looking crazy. And that's, that is the point. Why lie about Brian t previously terminated? Even writ receipt, you still lie. And that's and that's when you know you're a dangerous person. You're a dangerous content creator. And I definitely will not be fucking with you in anything that you stand for. Okay? Now, we share the same subscribers. I'm not one of those content creators that's going to tell you, Oh, if you, you go with her chat, don't come in my chat. If you fuck with her, continue. That, this ain't got nothing to do with subs, right? I don't do that. Come over here in my chat, but you can't come in my chat and bring her up in my chat, right? Just like I don't expect to come up in her chat. I mean, if she's talking about me, well, duh. But I'm not going to, after this, because I'm going to get ready to go, 
we're not going to talk about her again. Okay? So I don't, please don't think, I don't check chats. Ooh, I saw her over there in that chat. But what I don't appreciate is if you be fake about it. If you hanging around in my chat, oh, Kiva, you nice or whatever, but then you go in her chat and say I ain't shit, and then you back in my chat, yay, Kiva, now I'm just going to block you. I'm not going to call you out and make a video about it. And I have. See, I this is like I said, this, this is not my main channel. <laughs> I have made subscriber videos. Mm-hmm. But I don't do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay? So, and you know what? It's, here's the thing. I listen to a lot of people because I like a lot of different perspectives. And that's, that's just, I, I like, like, Danny will roast the fuck out of somebody. And I'll do commentary on it. Like Goomba. It, just example. She roasts that nigga down to the floor. I come and do commentary, same video, and I give a whole different perspective on it. Y'all, you got two different perspectives, two different content creators. No love lost. Even if me and Danny was to disagree on the, the, the topic, you still should be able to have different com commentators to listen to. But it's when you lie on that commentator and they've dropped proof thank you girl and you one of the best subs too okay you my girl okay um and i appreciate that thank you yeah that's that's crazy to me you know and then people try to mix religion in with with religion in with doxing i found that odd some it's some content creator and i ain't gonna say her name but she doxed somebody but claims she do it in the name of the Lord. I'm like, how does that work? Now, of course, we'll use the, it's public information. I get it. It is, if it's public information, it's not doxing. Except if you use it in a malicious manner. Like, it's such a little, such a little thin line, right? But as a Christian, then I ain't no Christian. I do love the Lord. But I ain't no Christian. Cause I'll cuss you the fuck out. However, I'm not gonna sit up here and be holy roly and then go and expose people. I found that odd. And that lady ain't never said shit to me. She ain't done shit to me. Um, I'm not gonna say her name, but I just found it odd. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hmm. Exposing for Jesus. <laughs> Exposing for Jesus. But yeah, I definitely think that everybody should go to different content creators get different and you might have your favorite a lot of people fuck with danny because she is thorough she's she literally has never been a i got it first it's she's a responder like I, it, cra it cracks me up how she is actually in a quote in a beef simply because she responded when you called her name or you threw shots if you throw shots at somebody and they see you throwing shots, it's obvious you throwing shots and they choose to respond. Now it's a problem. And then you play dumb. Well, I didn't I wasn't talking about them. I wasn't trying to dox them. I wasn't I didn't say I was going to dox them. But we're looking at your post. <laughs> we're listening. <laughs> You're directly speaking on things that were said in her in her live stream. And then when she responds, oh my God, it's all hell breaking loose. So I, I didn't plan on being on here, but I prefer if you say my name, have your receipts together, have your facts together, okay? Because more than likely, if they say, well, Kiva had did commentary on somebody and she said this, mm, I said it, I said it, more than likely I said it, okay? More than likely, I said it. Okay, hey, Miss T, baby. So, I don't, I don't do back and forth unless it's something I really need to talk about. Okay, but Messi, Medea, whatever your name is, you are very dangerous because you lie with the facts in your face. That's my opinion, and 
you give commentary on other YouTubers, well, this is a little bit for you. You're very dangerous because you lie with receipts directly in your face. Okay? You play victim when you get caught out. That's not cool. Okay? You being sick, that's your business. You put it on the internet. No one was talking about you being sick. No one made fun of you being sick. Your toe, your ugly feet, okay, it got roasted. That's just banter. No one said, oh, my God, she's sick, and look at her illness. So don't. So to try to put that in, in context, I was on an IV, and I was, my heart, that had nothing to do with the subject. I'm not making light that you were sick. But that had nothing to do with the subject. That annoys me, too, when people jump around the subject to try to, oh, my God, she's being talked about and she was getting oxygen. No. No one made fun of you being sick. No one made fun of your illness. We didn't, Nobody knew you was ill. Did you get roasted? Yes. That's just, it is what it is. Did I participate in the chat when you was being roasted? I did. I'm not a content creator that's hiding my hands. But I do not like people that deflect, people that use being sick, okay, as a way to get out of some shit. And when you flat out caught with an actual receipt, because people, they're going to have their suspicions. You got content creators. Well, they're not really content creators. They just bored and shit that will make assumptions. I'm pretty sure that this person is that person. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but can't provide a receipt factually. But then you have someone that drop a receipt that say, this you, this is your Facebook, your Twitter, your name, your Facebook caption that said subscribers. You had a channel, you had somebody comment that say you beef sector. She said people are coming for disabled women and proceeds to come for others in multiple videos. How interesting. I guess your disability doesn't stop you from coming for other people. Right. And that's another thing. You want to you wanna play sick when it to, for sympathy I get. People are going to fuck with you whether you want to. I mean, people are going to fuck with you if they want to. They can hear all the bad things about you or whatever and actually... You being exposed that you are not a new content creator, that wasn't actually a bad thing. It just made you out to be a liar. That really wasn't bad, okay? But you made it bad because you de you're denying it with the whole receipt. But that's, you know, some people like, I don't care, whatever's whatever, you know? Like, when I, like, I can see somebody, oh my gosh, she wears a, see, you can tell this ain't a Christian shirt. Okay, this that throw that ass in a circle shirt. You can, people hate this shirt, and then people love it. If you don't know the history of the shirt and why I have a shirt, because I have a shirt that says, we'll fuck for cake. Cake, cunt, cunt, cake. Okay, I got a couple of more inappropriate shirts coming. It's part of my theme over here, when people try to talk shit about my weight. Because that's such a lame, lame. That's like the lame. Oh, my God, she's fat. She's fat. I bet she fuck for cake. Boom, T-shirt. She's a little cunt cake. Boom, T-shirt. Okay? Now, if you really feel in my spare time, I fuck for a slice of pound cake, baby, I, I can't change your opinion of me. If that's what you think, you know, well, you know, maybe I do. Maybe I do it for some, for some Oreo cookies. I don't know. But... I'm not a content creator. I, I'm not fake. There's nobody out here that's going to tell you Kiva fake. So, why you over there, you know, trying to say uh, that I was Captain Save a Ho? No, look in your chat. You got a lot of hoes trying to save you in your chat. Why are you bothering her? Da -da 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 -da. No. But if I'm going to be Captain Sabah, I guess it is what it is. But I just wanted to address you in that. Because you was Captain Suck on suck on My Dick in my chat with my balls in your jaws when you jumped over here apologizing for, for outright lying. Okay? 
So just tell the story all the way, okay? Fuck her and that ugly ass toe. I said what I said. Now she claims she can't feel that toe. <laughs> the chat. <laughs> Listen. Oh, God, y'all. Right, and that's the thing. We all do a reaction videos, but people want to have, I guess, this upper hand. And I really feel bad that I put out content like once a week, but I be working. <laughs> and sometimes shit be going on, y'all. I be wanting to just jump on that and talk, and then I'll have my bunch. I'm like, shy, y'all gonna leave me. Y'all don't leave your girl. Stick with me. I be trying. Um, right, where did this comment here? Wasn't even speaking of Danny has been seeing Scooby Doo um since she's since over a year or two ago. Like, but nobody want that's the another thing. People will not do their due diligence and do their, their research to see. Now I get it. Man, I gotta go back and watch some videos just to hear her say that. Yeah, you do. But you made an assumption that somebody was calling you Scooby Doo Doo. Like, you're the inventor of scooby dooby doo scooby doo it's not. You know. Um, y'all, y'all. The chat and the talk. <laughs> hey, star. <laughs> Daddy been roasting for days. Right. <laughs> Ooh. And I haven't had a good, a good, you know, y'all, if y'all familiar, y'all, y'all know. How I, I I get down. I, I ain't even I ain't had a, a reason to go there. But if you see me make a post and say I got time, just be prepared for an hour long lab because I can I can I can I can I can go there. I can be really I can be a really nasty and mean person. I can. And direct you know, but it'll be directed to who it should be directed to. And there'll be receipts as to why. But you know. Just you telling people I'm over there, you know. I'm just saying. I just wanted to get the correction out there, you know. Y'all in the in the foot toe. We need a toe emoji. <laughs> Y'all so petty. <laughs> Not athlete's toe. <laughs> but she won't apologize. Nobody will. It's a lot of people that owe to apologies around this motherfucker. Okay, a lot of people. Look, y'all got me up out of my bed time. But I was like, you know, people speaking on me. Fuck it. Let me let me get on live, okay? She made videos until she got the attention. Now you have a health grievance. Get the fuck out of here. That part. And that's what they do. El elder abuse. Oh, my God. Elder abuse. Or try to act like they know something. Like, oh, you, you got it. I heard somebody said I had a bankruptcy, a recent bankruptcy. Bitch, when? But guess what? If if I did, let's let's say I did have a recent bankruptcy. That made my money even more freed up. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Okay? It's not a bad thing. <laughs> but I don't have a recent bankruptcy. I thought about that too. I don't know. I'm like, who got a recent bankruptcy? But people would do dumb shit like that to try to uh uh not burnt toe. African booty toe. African booty scratcher toe. <laughs> Right, but that's and this and that particular person is an old lady. Like that was her best roast, a cowbell and alleging that I had a recent bankruptcy. Like, but I, you know, I, I I'm gonna let that go, cause I my mouth is real gutter. Like I, I like to have fun when I roast. Like I, I, I if I'm a roast you baby, we gonna get to it. But I'm gonna pass my elderly bedtime. Okay. I need to go get, I, I should have, I need to be sleep. Y'all, I've been drinking this. I don't really like this. Have y'all had this? I'm mad. I don't really care for that. It's good, but I don't really care for that. I don't like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> Right, right, <laughs> right. 
But that's how, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to wrap this up. Right. Okay. Next caller. <laughs> but it's just funny how now it's coming together that that's a beef sector, an older woman beef sector. She is a beef, she was a beef sector content creator. And this is how she gets her views. She wants the beef. You know what I'm saying? But I don't go back and forth with nobody. I say, like, this will be it. Part one and part two, this will be it, okay? Um, I will go ahead, roll out of here. Y'all, y'all. I got to go to work in the morning. I got to go to bed. But, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. So, she, because she'll see this video whenever she see it. And if she uses it for content, that's fine, you know. Um, just make sure you give a lot of commentary, okay? Give commentary the proper way, okay? Because, you know, if you get a strike on your channel, you know, then that'll be that'll be terrible, right? So, you a YouTuber, you know how to give full and complete commentary so you don't get your channel struck, you know, okay? So, yep. Hold on, wait a minute. She said, wait, she said she lost feeling in that ding dong toe. I guess she can no longer feel it when it gets hard. <laughs> the whole check. If I don't love petty and messy subscribers and content creators that can talk fun banter, like roasting a whole toe, it's just, it's petty, it's funny, it's childish. And sometimes you have to do that. You have to be childish. There is a 68-year-old woman in another content creator's live panel with the green collar. I'm sorry, with green roller sets. And we do not listen. Yes, honey. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is tickling me big time. Woo! If you don't got no feeling in the toe, then she won't. <laughs> well, let's talk about it either. <laughs> Y'all, we we got to go to bed, okay? The, the toe has been re-roasted again. And I'm going to take my captain save a whole ass to sleep, okay? Um, But, and that, you know... As I stated before, subscribers are going to speak up. And, and, you know, I think another thing, I got to go to bed. But I'm like, I didn't come at her chat and cuss her out. Like, bitch, you was incorrect. It was very detailed, as she called it. <laughs> she said, Captain Sabo. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, y'all. We've had our fun. Um... Y'all go to bed. Y'all. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to end it on this note. Um, I'm not I'm not the content creator that's like, oh, my God, you can't be in certain people's chats. If you over there in her chat, enjoy her content. Enjoy her style of how she do her videos. Um, but we don't talk about her over here in my chat. Like, today, that's that's it. Her name should not come back up in my chat. And just don't be fake. Like, if you fuck with me and her, then fuck with us both. But don't be over in the chat, you know, where I, and, I, and I'm not checking her chat. I, I, I'm not going to be... If I take the time to police her chat, I can't do my own content. But if someone happens to see it or if I happen to see it where you was in my chat and I'll keep it all good and I do, you know, and then you open her chat cussing me out or whatever, I'm just going to block you and we're going to go on about our day, okay? Because it's a lot of, a lot of us go to a bunch of different content creators, okay? And I've never, ever been like that. I've never been like, um, if you like that person, I don't like you. And if I don't like a person, it's because I don't like them. And sometimes, let's keep it a buck, sometimes people can do shit really fucked up and you and everybody don't like them collectively right but this was petty this wasn't nothing damaging um this was just really petty and like i said she's a liar being a liar is dangerous she's a dangerous person
person because she's a habitual liar. Like she really sticking in and she's standing in her lies. So that's a dangerous content creator. I can't fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? For my own self. I would never speak to her privately, send her an email, send her a DM because she can't be trusted. She would fuck around and make it content. Okay. And when you can't send nobody a DM without they throwing it up on the goddamn screen for content, mm -mm, that's the kind of content creator I think that she would turn around and be because it's literally the receipt is there and she's denying it. So, mm -mm. so that's it. That's all we have had for princess hit the replay. It is bizarre. It is bizarre. It's very b bizarre. It's, it's, you know, that's a demonic spirit. Oh, this is a receipt. It do say my it say my name. It's my picture. I did write that caption. The caption did say that I'm happy about my subscribers and my views on my YouTube channel. Yep, that's me. Nope, I didn't have a channel. Like, bitch. <laughs> like, damn. Really? So Drop some proper hearts in the chat if you enjoy just us kicking it and talking a little shit. Um, I'm not deleting my videos. We need a scripture. Somebody put a scripture in the chat. <laughs> Thou shall not creep on a dead gangrene toe. Um, Niggalations one and one. Of you two Corinthians, 36 and 4. That's the best I can have. Bye, y'all. See y'all on the next live. <laughs>